Hey guys, Chef Katrina here, and I want to share with you real quick a couple of ways that you can protect your blog. The worst news you can hear is that my blog has been hacked, and I want to keep this from happening to you. The, a lot of times when we get started in setting up our blogs, we're not really told that we need to protect them also. So a couple of things we're going to go over. The first thing is, is that by default, you're going to have an admin for your blog. And this is predominantly for those that have an independent blog. You guys are using the WordPress platform to build your, your blog and you're just wanting a way to protect it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to change the admin. Admin is a default username for a lot of, or for every single WordPress site. So what you're going to want to do is you want to make sure you delete the admin or that you're going to replace the admin. You don't want to be using admin anymore. It's the number one uh, user name that hackers go after, and then it's just a matter of cracking your code or cracking your your, uh, your password before they, they take over your blog, and that's never a good thing. So what you're going to want to do is in the back office here, you're going to go under user, you're going to go to add new, give yourself a username, whatever you want it to be. Uh, don't use admin, try not to use your first name, um, be a little creative with this one here so that you're, you're protecting yourself. Uh, definitely want to put in a password. You're going to ask for it twice. And then your role that you're going to want to put to is keep it as administrator uh, for the one that has access to everything. This is going to be the top thing you're going to want to do. And then go ahead and add user. This is going to be what you, you want to see and what you want to do. First off, if you have a blog for a while, um, like for me, the you're just gonna you may not be able to delete the adword the admin name but block it put in a really funky crazy astronomical um you know 23 character uh password somewhere and then don't use it ever again stick with your new username your new password and work off of there to protect your site this is just one of the pieces that you're going to want to use for protecting your blog the second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to wordpress.org uh, um, excuse me, and you're going to want to go to plugins. So you click on the plugins here, and then you want to search plugins. I've recommended two in this post. The first one is, and I've got my notes here because I, I wrote this down. I attended a, a WordPress meeting here locally and, and just get some of the greatest information. I don't apply all of it because I don't understand it, but it's nice to start knowing the lingo and having some idea. So the first WordPress plugin that was recommended was WordFence. So, uh, Word fence ah, word fence security so that's exactly what it looks like word fence security and then search the plugins for that one so again this is another nice long uh, good rating on this one click on it and you'll have something that looks like this so go ahead and download it and then upload it onto your blog uh, but this is definitely the one that you want to have is the word fence so great, it's going to take a few minutes to set up because you're going to have to go through some uh, the process of how you want it done, you know, what are some things you want to, you know, keep protected on your blog. So it's going to walk you through this. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. It's really easy to follow. Um, and you'll, you'll be up in probably a matter of, of 10 minutes or so. It does all this for you. It does it virus scans, uh, firewall, real-time traffic with geographic location. So it actually even tells you where your traffic is coming from in real time, which is a great thing with this WordPress. It's kind of one of the reasons I installed this one. There is a second one also that was mentioned at the uh, WordPress meeting that I attended, and it was called um, Better WordPress, oops, Better WP Security. I'm going to space this out. Security. And hit the plugin for that one. So better WordPress security again, another very high ranking one. Um, clicking on this one, uh, best way to secure your your WordPress area 51. That's kind of funny, um, but improve security on any WordPress site in seconds. I have not installed this one uh, on my blog because I am using the Word Fence. I would do recommend guys do not install both of them. You don't need them. You only need to use one. Uh, you don't want to have a bunch of plugins running on your site. It's going to affect the loading time for your website, um, and it may start having conflicts with other plugins that you have on your site. So pick one or the other, whichever one you find is going to work best for you, um, and then you know just stick with there. But this is some of the di the ways that you can protect yourself from getting your blog hacked 
and uh, you know, it doesn't prevent you know indefinitely, but it's a great little tool to protect yourself. The other thing, real quick, it doesn't really protect to pretend to this or attain. Sorry, I can't speak to this. But there was another feature for like saving your website, uh, for backing it up. A lot of times you you pay extra to have it backed up or whatever. This was another one that was recommended to me. It was actually called what was it? I'm just looking right now. Um, it was it's like a download. Oh, is it what I put it back up? Back up to Dropbox. Um, and what that means is you're going to back up the computer system and it'll actually back it up to the Dropbox. So like if you have a Dropbox, which I think is great because it's a virtual thing, it does it automatically. You can set it up in a matter of minutes. And if you've got the ability to get the space, you can actually install this WordPress plugin called Backup to, Backdrop, to Dropbox. Uh, so it'll back up your data, back up your media um, in a matter of minutes. And it's a really easy to use plugin. So in terms of just making sure that you have your system backed up, and also you're protecting it. This is, you know, two things I think are very important for you. So this is my quick review of how to protect your blog from getting hacked. Because there's, like I said, there's nothing worse than saying, oh my gosh, my blog's been hacked. So this is Chef Katrina sharing with you guys some of my tips and tricks for keeping your blog safe. Hope you're having a beautiful day and we'll talk to you soon.